Let's read the question. Find the equation of the circle passing through the three points 1 comma 2, 3 comma minus 4, 5 comma minus 6. Here the question they are saying that there is a circle. Okay. So on the circle the three points were there. Suppose the first point is over here 1 comma 2 and the second point is somewhere over here 3 comma minus 4 and the other point that is 5 comma minus 6 is what there over here. So three points were lying on this particular circle and they are asking us to find out the equation of this particular circle. So let us try to do that. So I'll write the given and even I'll just write the general equation of the circle and we'll compare and we'll get the values. So let's try to do that. Let the required circle equation is so what is the general equation of the circle that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Alright. So we'll say this particular equation as equation number 1. So we'll see that this particular equation number 1 is passing to the first point that is 1 comma 2. So let's try to do that. So I can write he here equation 1 is passing through what was the point that is 1 comma 2 is our first point. So let's submit that. So I can write the general equation first that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. So here in the place of x I'll submit 1 in the place of y I'll submit 2 and let's see what do we get. So I can write here 1 square plus 2 square plus 2g in the place of x 1 in the place of y I'll submit 2 plus c equal to 0. So here we'll be getting this as 1 plus 4 plus 2g plus 4f plus c equal to 0. Now we can write this as 2g plus 4f plus c plus 4 plus 1 which is 5 so I can write plus 5 equal to 0. So let's say this as equation number 2. Alright. So now we'll submit equation 1 in the second point that is 3 comma minus 4. So I can write here equation 1 is passing through. So what is the other point? That is 3 comma minus 4. So we'll just submit in 3 comma minus 4. So let's do that. So I'll write the general equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is the general equation. So in the place of x I'll write 3 in the place of y I'll write minus 4. So let's continue to do this. So in the place of x 3 and of course in the place of y I'll be writing it as minus 4 plus c equal to 0. So let's simplify the 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16. And this is 2, 3, 6, g and this is minus 4, 2, 8 plus c equal to 0. Alright. So I can write this as 6g minus 8f plus c plus 25. That is 9 plus 16 is 25 equal to 0. Let's say this as equation number 3. Alright. So now uh, we'll just even submit the other remain point that is 5 comma minus 6 in the general equation of the circle. And let's see what do we get. So I can write here equation 1 is passing through. So what is the other remain point that is 5 comma minus 6. Alright, let's write the general equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0 is the general equation. So in the place of x I can submit 5. In the place of y I'll just submit minus 6. So let's continue to do this. So I can write this as um, let's solve this further as submitting. So this is 5 square is 25. 6 square is 36. This is 5 to the 10 g. This is 6 to the 12 which is minus 12 f plus c equal to 0. So let's try to do this further. So this is 10 g minus 12 f plus c. This is plus uh, this is 6 plus 5 which is 11 and uh, 3 plus 2 5 so 6 that is 61 equal to 0. When we added 25 plus 36 we are getting that as 61. So this is the equation which is obtained. Let's say this is equation number 4. Alright. 
So now even we got this all of the three equations when we submit three in three of the points which were given. So let's try to solve equation number two and equation number three. Uh, so that gives us a simplified equation. So let's do that. So I can write here solving equation two and also equation number three. So the equation number two is 2g plus 4f plus c plus 5 equal to 0 and the other equation 6g minus 8f plus c plus 25 equal to 0. So let's try to solve this changing the signs this is minus this is plus this is minus this is also minus. So this plus c minus c get cancelled and this is plus 2g this is minus 6g so here I'll be getting minus 4g here plus 4f plus 8f that gives us plus 12f and this is minus 20 equal to 0. So now here we can further solve this. Uh, before that uh, in this I can just take uh, uh, this every all the va values were of multiple of 4 so I'll just take minus 4 carbon. So this equation is remained with uh, g this is 4 3 is a 12 so this is g minus 3f and this is 4 5 is a 20 so I can write plus 5 equal to 0. So here this equation is remained as g minus 3f plus 5 equal to 0. Alright. So let's say this as equation number 5. Alright. So now we'll solve equation number 3 and 4. We have already solved 2 and 3 but now we'll solve 3 and 4. So I can do that over here. So I'll write solving equation 3 and also equation number 4. So let's do that. So equation 3 that we got it as 6g minus 8f plus c. Um, it was there above. We'll just see that and we'll write 6g minus 8f plus c uh, plus 25 equal to 0. So this is the third equation. And the fourth equation is over here. So we can write directly here 10g minus 12f plus c plus 61 equal to 0. So this is equation number 4. So let's try to solve this further and we'll see what do we get here. All right. So I'll just change the sign. This is minus. This is plus. This is minus. This is also minus. So plus c minus c get cancelled. We'll write the remaining. So this is plus 6, 6g. This is minus 10g. So here we'll be getting this as minus 4g. This is minus 8f and this is plus 12. So here we'll be getting the value as plus 4f and this is minus 61 and this is plus 25. So here once we solve here we're getting that as minus 36 equal to 0. All right. So here if we observe here every value is multiple of 4. So I can just take minus 4 common. So here we'll remain with the g minus f and it comes to here. Uh, so this is 4 9 the 36 so I can write plus 9 as we are taking 4 common so this equation we are remain with g minus f plus 9 equal to 0 so let's say this as equation number 6 all right so if you solve equation number 5 and 6 then we'll be getting the g or f value so we'll do that so I can write here solving equation 5 and also equation number 6 so equation number 5 is g minus 3f plus 5 equal to 0 all right this is equation number 5 and equation number 6 is g minus f plus 9 equal to 0 all right so let's change the signs and see what do we get so this is minus this is plus and this is minus plus g minus g get cancelled this is plus minus 3f plus f means this will be getting as minus 2f this is plus 5 and this is minus 9 for this we'll be getting it as minus 4 equal to 0 so if I send this 4 to the side, so this will be getting as 4 and uh, when we cancel 2 1s and 2 2s, so f value we are getting it as minus 2. Alright, so we got f value as minus 2, this f equal to minus 2, if we submit in either 5th equation or 6th equation, even we will be getting g value also. Submit f equal to minus 2 in, I am just submitting this in equation number 6. So sixth equation is g minus f plus 9 equal to 0. So here I'll just submit the f value. So this is minus half minus 2. 
So this will be getting g plus 2 plus 9 equal to 0. So g is 2 plus 9 in the sense that is 11. So if I send this 11 to the side, the value will be getting this as g equal to minus 11. So we got f value as minus 2 and g value as minus 11. Now we can submit the g value and f value in either equation number 2 or equation number 3 or equation number 4. Uh, then we'll be getting the c value. All right. So let's do that. So I can write here submit g equal to minus 11 and f equal to minus 2. This both of the values I'm just submitting in equation number 2. All right. The second equation that we got is d 2g plus 4f plus c plus 5 equal to 0. So the g value we got 2 into minus 11. And the f value we got minus 2, so plus c plus 5 equal to 0. So let's solve this 11 to 2, which is minus 22. And this is 4 to 8 minus 8 plus c plus 5 equal to 0. So minus 22 minus 8, this will be getting minus 30 plus c plus 5 equal to 0. So this is minus 30 plus 5 in the sense, this will be getting minus 25 plus c equal to 0. So c value we are getting it as 25. All right. So we got g value, we got f value, we also got uh, c value. So all these values that is g value, f value and c value will just submit in the general equation of the circle and that gives the equation of the circle. So let's do that. So I can write here submit g equal to minus 11, f equal to minus 2 and c equal to 25 in equation 1. All right. So what is equation number one? That is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to zero. So let's submit the values which is obtained. So I can write x squared plus y squared plus 2 into the g value. We got it as minus 11 and the f value. We got it as minus 2 and the c value. We got it as 25. All right. So let's solve this further x squared and y squared. This is 11 to 2, which is 22 minus 22x. And this is 2 into 2, that is minus 4y plus 25 equal to 0. So this is the required equation which is obtained. All right. So let's just uh, recall the complete problem which we did here. I will make a simple figure again over here. So they gave a circle like this and they also gave the three points which are lying on this particular circle. So the three points where they have given as 1 comma 2 other they have given 3 comma minus 4 and the other point they also gave 5 comma minus 6. So these three are the points we submitted in the general equation of the circle. With that we got uh, three different equations. All right. So two two equations we solved separately. Then whatever we get when we solve those two equations then we got g and f value. Uh, so those g and f value submitted in the given equation the obtained equation. So then we got g f c values. So those values we again submitted in the general equation of the circle. Then this is the equation obtained. So this is the equation of the circle of this particular one. Okay. So this circle equation obtained was this one. So this is all about this particular question.